Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Windy, Wichita, Kansas, where today the Grizzlies will take on the Red Demons of Dodge City, Kansas, in the first game of the annual Titan Classic Soccer Tournament. Glad to have you on board wherever you are on planet Earth. My name is Kevin Arkin. Our executive producer, producer today is Ashley Isbell. And the weather in Wichita is not very good today. The, uh, we had an all-night rain last night. The field drained very well here at South High. Uh, so the field is nice and soft for the players. But a cold front has come through. The temperature has been dropping throughout the day. It is currently 45 degrees. It's predicted to be 40 degrees when the game ends at approximately 6 o'clock. So it's going to be a very cold, blustery day here in Wichita for soccer. But we're glad to have you on board. Lots going on here. First game of the Titan Classic. Winner, if we win today, we will play Wednesday at 6. If we lose, we'll play at 4. We'll talk more about that later. For now, we're going to send it. <coughs> Pardon me. Going to send it to a quick commercial timeout, and then Christina Commons will join us for the pregame interview. Stay tuned. You're watching NWHS Grizz, and this is Grizzly Soccer. This is the McCurdy Real Estate and Auction Varsity Pregame Show. Coach Christina Commons reviews the last varsity game and takes a look at today's upcoming contest. Sponsored by McCurdy Real Estate and Auction. Real estate, but better. And now, let's join Coach Commons with Kevin Arkin. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to South High School. We are on the East Grass Field today for the first game of the Titan Classic. And our opponent today will be the Red Demons of Dodge City there took, made the four hour drive in to play this game. And this is the pregame show. We're joined as always by our head coach, Christina Commons. And our pregame show is sponsored as always by McCurdy Real Estate and Auction, 13th and K96 Real Estate, but better. Coach, first game against uh, Derby out of the box. Not you don't know what to expect. I know you you wanted a different result, but uh, I thought overall the team played well in that two to one loss. You know, in a lot of games, you can always look at uh, if a call was made or was not made. Could it make a difference? And I think last night it could have made a difference. Yeah, it did. And that we're talking about uh, uh, the handball call late in the game that led to the winning goal, which was scored on a set piece and. I'm not taking anything away from the shooter. I forgot who it was that, that scored for Derby, but beautifully placed ball, upper left-hand corner of the net. Liliana had no chance. No, there was nothing she was going to be able to do to stop that one. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that we had that in in the position it was. Um, can I say, I mean, did did Heath do the handball on purpose? No, it was just her natural instincts, and getting that call that way is really unfortunate for us. Um, the placement couldn't have been better. Um I mean, to be honest, I was expecting him to shoot it wide and get Kaylin right back in the game immediately. Um, so it was definitely a different outcome than what I was expecting. Okay, can't change the outcome. It's in the books now, and we start off the season with a loss. But uh, uh, let's look at some of the bright points from the game against Derby. But what I liked the most is, one, Brooklyn Bohannon started the season off with her first goal. Um, I cannot wait to see how many more she can get. She has grown so much over these four years, and this year, by far, definitely her best year. Um, but it's not just her either. Even several of the players, when they came off, I, I even said, girls, who is this? Like, I don't recognize you at all, even from when we played the alumni to when we practice against each other. Um, the way they performed last night was the best I've seen any of them all put together. And that's what we need. And it, I, the feeling I got from the game last night was this is midseason chemistry already. I think um, seeing what we got, uh, most of them played varsity last year. Um, we had a few more thrown in there. So they kind of had the feel of what was needed. Um, I know I'm asking a little different from them. Um, I'm trying to challenge them with some of the things that they're doing. And they are rising because you could tell from the first half of play to when we could talk at halftime to when they came out. 
totally different team. It was beautiful. Okay. Well, we turn our attention now to the Red Demons of Dodge City, who have played two games on the season. They're one and one, having a uh, uh, lost to this Derby team uh, by a two nothing score uh, the other day. So. They lost two nothing. We lost two one. Looks like we, we may have two evenly matched teams here. You know, I'm really excited about it. Um, I mean, can we come out and perform better? I think so. Um, we are going to be on grass field. We practice on grass field as well, even though it's not like this nice fluffy stuff that you would want, right? Yeah, but it's all. a it's a little bit harder of a field, but once again, that's what we are used to. That is what we practice on, and I think most teams. I mean, Dodge. Um, Derby may be also included in this one as well, but most teams are used to practicing on turf and playing on turf. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what we have here tonight. That leads me to a question. I'm going to go back to, to uh, Derby just one more time. Normally, we Derby's soccer stadium has a grass field, has a turf field, uh, grass field, and we played in the football uh, stadium last uh, last last time against or on a turf surface, was that because there was something wrong with the grass, or would you think that might have been a strategic move by the Derby Panthers to get us off our natural surface? You know, I'm hoping it was because their field just wasn't in a good shape. And so that's what I'm hoping for, um, for them to do the move that they did as late as they did. Um, Because I think we found out like the day and a half before, so middle of – Tuesday, find out, oh, we're going to be on turf. So here I was scrambling, and I even talked with our track coach, and I said, hey, can we get on the turf for a little bit on Wednesday just so my girls can get the feel of the play again? Um, most of them are used to it just because of club, um, but for the most part when we're on that you know, hard ground and grass and that kind of unsteady climate, it's a little bit harder to adjust to, but our girls did fantastic with it. Okay. I had to ask that question, so – now you've got a test of stamina this week. You have Dodge City uh, coming up at the top of the hour. You've got th- three games in six, six days, and you've only played one game on the season. So can you assess your team's foot- fitness level at this point and uh, as to what you would expect any kind of effect would be on the games this week? You know, right now, um, I don't play very many people. Um, I think I've got like four coming off the bench possibly. Um, so we don't ha- I mean, I have a depth. Um, I'm just not using it quite yet. I want to see what my girls have and are capable of because um, I do think that as a team, they are capable of the minutes and the being able to run into fitness level. Um, the so many games in so little time, I think is actually a benefit for us um, because just like we saw last night, one half to the next, all of a sudden it was a miraculous difference. So getting this next game in, I think you're going to continue to see those big jumps from us. And, of course, if we are victorious today against Dodge City, we play on turf Wednesday against – either Bishop Carroll or our good friends from Derby again. You know, honestly, I kind of want them to I want Derby to win just so that we can play them again because I think the way that they had to play that second half shows that they weren't expecting what we could bring to the table. Well, that's looking ahead. We don't want to do that. We will talk about that hopefully on Wednesday before our game whether it's hopefully we'll get to play derby i'd like to see us play derby again too just just to get a little revenge going and it is always hard to beat a team twice in a row in such a short span so i think that would work in our advantage as well oh it definitely does and i think more importantly is we're not going to be at their their stadium we're going to be at kind of a neutral site so it's always interesting to see how games are played what's the injury situation going in you know, we got some bumps and bruises, um, but overall, we I mean, we're taking our time. We're relaxing, enjoying the weekend. Um, we're back, and we're ready to go. Okay. Wish, wish you the best of luck against the Red Demons of Dodge City, and look forward to a visit with you before our game Wednesday against either Bishop Carroll or Derby. Yes, thank you. Head Coach Christina Commons on our pregame show. Stay tuned for a message from McCurdy Real Estate and Auction. And then we'll be back with the starting lineup and the play-by-play of today's game against Dodge City. You're watching NWHS Grizz, and this is Grizzly Soccer. I'm ready. Me too. Are you ready? 
ready? I'm ready. Hey man, you going out for football? Band class still needs you, man. Kansas students have choices. To do or not to do. The Kansas State High School Activities Association urges everyone to participate because when activities stop, nobody wins. Wichita Northwest Grizzlies soccer is on the air. Welcome to everyone in Grizzly Nation to another webcast of your Wichita Northwest Grizzlies as they take on the best teams in Kansas and pursue a 6A state title. Follow your Grizzlies all season long on YouTube.com slash NWHS Grizz. Today's webcast is brought to you through the support of the many sponsors of this year's Eric Prophet Scholarship Golf Tournament including the following. Mel Hambledon Ford, on the big corner of 119th West and Kellogg. We're better. We're proven it. You be the judge. Thank you, Lisa Hamilton. And by Aerotech Engineering, 5555 North 119th Street West in Mays, serving customers that rank among the world's largest manufacturers of civilian and military aircraft. Thank you, Tom Simon and everyone at Aerotech Engineering. By Tom Lasseter and Fleeson, Gooing, Colson, and Kitch, attorneys in the Epic Center at 301 North Main. We believe our clients' best interests and needs are our own. By Intrust Bank of Wichita, 105 North Main with branches throughout Sedgwick County. Intrust is built on value. We change to meet the times, but we will never change our principles. By Dan Garreau and the law firm of Dugan and Garreau, experts in personal injury, business law, workers' compensation, wills, and trusts. Now at their new location at 3636 North Ridge Road, Suite 100. By McCurdy Real Estate and Auction on East 13th Street, just east of K96, serving Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma for over 40 years. Real estate, but better. By the Joe and Judy Coughlin and the Chris and Jan Schumacher families. Strong supporters of Grizzly Soccer through the Eric Prophet Memorial Soccer Fund. By Emerson Biggins, 808 East Douglas at the east edge of Old Town. Come visit Emerson Biggins and enjoy the great food, cold brews, and hospitality of Luis Lopez and his staff today. By Hurricane Sports Bar at the corner of 13th and Tyler. Luis Lopez has brought his hospitality west to make it convenient to Grizzly Nation. By Credit Union of America, where members are the owners. With branches all over the Wichita metro area, Credit Union of America stands ready to serve you. By Todd Eflin Narrates. Hey, that's me. Voiceovers for audiobooks, product or promotional videos, telephone systems, and business commercials. By the Robert L. Gould Foundation, a philanthropic trust assisting the educational needs of young people at Northwest for over 10 years. 
by the Eric Profit Memorial Soccer Fund, providing scholarship assistance to Northwest Soccer seniors each year through the support of the Eric Profit Scholarship Golf Tournament, and by the many other sponsors who make this webcast possible. And now, to the field and to the voice of the Grizzlies, Kevin Arkin. Thank you, Todd Eflin, and welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to Wichita South High School for the first game of the 2024 Titan Classic Soccer Tournament. Today, the Grizzlies will take on the Red Demons from Dodge City High School, who made the four-hour trip here out of Dodge City for this tournament. It will be the second game for the Grizzlies. They come in 0-1 on the season having lost at Derby on Thursday night, uh, two to nothing. Two to one, two to one excuse me. And uh, for Dodge City, it is their third game. They come in one and one. They uh, defeated Thomas Moore Prep out of Hayes, 10 to nothing, and then lost to Derby at home, two to nothing. So we each have a common foe, and one of these two teams is gonna play Derby on Wednesday. As the bracket goes, the uh, the uh, winner or loser of tonight's game will play Derby. The other team will play Bishop Carroll on Wednesday, and we'll give you that bracket information here in just a few minutes. Go ahead and give you the starting lineups for both teams. There is no introduction of players in this tournament. We'll start with the home team. The designated home team is Dodge City. The Lady Red Demons are led by senior goalkeeper Ariana De La Rosa. She's wearing number one. Also on the field for Dodge City, sophomore number three, Karimi Reda. Junior number four, Ashley Alonso. Sophomore number five, Yekaline Zatino. Junior number six, Kathia Ramirez. Senior number seven, Janet Morales De La Rosa. Junior number eight, Avril Castaneda Alarcon. Junior number nine, Jasmine Ruiz. Senior number 13, Naomi Para. Sophomore number 17, Yareli Garcia. And finally, uh, number 24, Junior Kelly Morales Fausto. The coach, coaching staff for Dodge City consists of the head coach, Abraham Rosales, and their assistant coaches are Claudia and Enciso, Daniel Garcia, and Jasmine Duarte. And just on a side note, you know, I complained earlier about the weather, and the weather, quite frankly, is terrible. 45 degrees at the moment. It's supposed to be 40 by the time the game ends today as we are in a declining uh, temperature day today. Teams... Uh, or rather, the uh, a cold front came through earlier this morning, and is dumping the temperatures here as we speak. Now we can count our blessings because uh, the good folks in Dodge City left in a snowstorm uh, late this morning to get here, and uh, they're supposed to get some significant snow in Dodge City today, and they could use the moisture, but it sure is inconvenient for all of them, and that's for sure. Captains are at midfield and getting set for the coin toss. The head coaches are out there as well, and, and the coaches have now walked away for Kaelin Heath is out there, Susanna Anaveros. Also out there for Northwest. Referees explaining a few things. The uh, Should this game end in regulation in a tie? It cannot end in a tie. Uh, this game would go to two five-minute. Let me double-check that. Klaus, what are the overtime rules? Overtime, we're going to go straight to PKs. Straight to PKs. No overtimes. Okay. So if the game ends in regulation in a tie, they will go straight to penalty kicks to determine a winner because there must be a winner. 
Let's give you the starting lineup now for your Wichita Northwest Grizzlies. In goal, age number one, Liliana Hernandez. Senior forward number four, Brooklyn Bohannon. Sophomore midfielder number five, Emily Bravo. Sophomore defender number eight, Ingrid Para. Senior defender number 10, Susanna Ontiveros. Senior forward number 12, Savannah Randall. Senior midfielder number 14, Merari Flores. Junior midfielder number 16, Raylan Grant. Senior defender number 17, Kaylin Heath. Sophomore midfielder number 20, Kaylin Mueller. And rounding out the starting lineup for Northwest, a junior number 21 on defense, Lillian Schilling. Grizzlies are coached by Christina Commons, and she's assisted by Michelle Lawrence and by Corey Roberts. Grizzlies are the road team in this tournament today, and as such, they will be wearing their white jerseys with blue trunks, white socks. Dodge City will be wearing their home red jerseys with black trunks, red trim, and red socks. You can hear Klaus Kohlmeier in the background barking instructions at the referees. Klaus is one of the tournament directors in this tournament this year. He has stepped down from his duties as a referee after many years of service. And he is going to be missed in that capacity, and it was great to see him here today. And he is one of our two hosts, uh, the athletic director, Johnny Martin, being the other. They've been having some trouble with the clock on this field, getting it fired up. It has gone to zero, and now they're trying to reset it at 40 minutes, and they're having a problem. And they're going to go ahead and get that done. Grizzlies will play from left to right here in the first half. Liliana Hernandez heads back for the goal. The wind is a biting, cold, nasty wind, and it is coming directly in our face. It is blowing out of the west across the field and literally directly into us. Ashley and I are both uh, having to stare into the teeth of the wind during this contest. Getting set for the opening kickoff. Grizzlies will kick it off to start the game. And we are underway here at South High. First game of the Titan Classic. The winner will take on the winner of the Bishop Carroll and Derby game, which will be played immediately after this one. Dodge City gets control of the ball, starting to work it down. Marari Flores over there to intercept it for Northwest. And she tries to bring it forward, and it's going to roll out of play into the sellout crowd and it will be a throw in for Dodge City. Dodge throws it in. Ball sent over here to the near side. Played forward by Zatino. And Brooklyn Bohannon had it on her foot for a minute. Now Savannah Randall comes up to help out. And bringing the ball down now is Jasmine Ruiz. She dishes it off. Susanna Anaveros takes it, sends it up here to Randall, right in front of us. I mean, our perch here, folks, is six feet from the halfway line. So we are right on the field. That one hit uh, 
Randall in the chops. Bohannon. Give and go to Bohannon. Can she turn the Jets on? No. It's going to be kicked back to goalkeeper De La Rosa. And she distributes it by, via the foot. Over here on the near side to Morales De La Rosa. That one's intercepted. Nice play by the Grizzlies. Emily Bravo to intercept that one. And now bringing it up is Kaylin Heath. She sends one wide on the far side. Fighting for it over there. Flores brings it up. Tries to split it through three people. Does so. And that one goes out over the goal line. That will be a corner kick for Northwest. Kaylin Mueller set that one up, number 20. Marari Flores will take the corner from the far side. Keeps it low. That one is chipped forward. And De La Rosa picks it off for Dodge City. And we'll have a goalkeeper distribution. Three minutes into the contest. No score. Northwest and Dodge City. Two 6A powers going at it here in this contest and they do not play in the same league obviously since they are so far apart from one another. Back it comes to Kaylin Heath. She'll send it to Lily and Schilling. Schilling will bring it up and now she dishes it off to Anaveros. Susanna up here to Randall. Randall, give and go back to Susanna. Oh, just over letter. Raylan Grant fighting hard for it. Wins it. Tried to get it to Savannah Randall and couldn't, and Dodge City comes away with it. Up here on the near side. Zatino finally has it taken away from her, and Raylan Grant sends one back to Bravo. And again, it's Ruiz with it for Dodge City. Bravo again to Savannah Randall. Randall, nice ball to Bravo. Bravo couldn't control it. It's sent back. Anaveros is there. Susanna. Sends it up to Bravo. Nice play over here to Randall. And Randall puts one into the center of the field. Raylan Grant is there. Sends one forward. And it's intercepted. Dodge City will try and bring it forward. Grant gets it again. Sends one forward. Gets all the way through for Flores. Marari over there. One on two. And she sends one back. And Kaylin Heath is over there now to take charge defensively. And back to Kaylin. That one got uh, intercepted by Dodge City. And a foul is called on Northwest. And it will be a free kick for the Demons. Five and a half gone. First quarter, or first half rather. <clears throat> no score. Schilling intercepts that one, sends one forward. Up the middle, Raylan Grant. Randall's all by herself over here if they can get it to her, but they couldn't. And back it goes. Ruiz bringing it up for Dodge. Sends one out of play. It'll be a throw in for Northwest. It's 
Anaveros throws it in. Gets it again, sends one out to midfield. Bravo can't control it. Ruiz wins it for the Demons. Kaylin Heath giving chase on the far side, and she'll send it up the near far side. Dodge with another chance. Anaveros trying to clear it, unable to do so. Goes through the wickets of Randall. And Randall finally just knocks it out of play to give the defense a chance to reset. It'll be a throw in for the Demons. And I know you can hear the wind blowing into my microphone. The wind has picked up just since the game started. Marari Flores. Flores still with it. And she's going to dish it back there to Anaveros. Susanna with it. Sends it over to Schilling. Schilling up to Grant. Good ball movement by the Grizzlies. Now that's Bravo at center. Bravo sends a long one down. That's going to be too long for anybody in a white shirt to get to. And it's going to be tapped back to Della Rosa. There's a steal by Brooklyn Bohannon, and she puts one over the top. That'll be a goal kick. And on that goal kick, let's take 10. We'll be back. This is Grizzly Soccer. Grizzly Soccer on YouTube is brought to you in part by Dr. Steve Priddle and the Women's Health Group of Manhattan. Back at South High for the goal kick. Ball goes out of play. Quick throw in coming for Dodge. Taken away by Lillian Schilling. Nice job. Kaylin Heath will send one out to midfield to Marari Flores. Flores gets around one and sends it wide for Ingrid Para. Raylan Grant comes up to get the loose ball. Still with it. Trying to dish one forward for a shot chance for Bohannon. Bohannon couldn't get to it, though. And it's cleared out by the Demons out to center. Grizzlies about to make their first substitutions of the night. And coming in for Northwest are number 13, Sawyer Ross the senior midfielder, and also coming in number seven, the sophomore midfielder, Addison Porter. Bohannon and Bravo come out for the Grizzlies. Anaveras will throw it in, and she gets it to Savannah Randall. Randall, nice ball to Porter. Raylan Grant fighting hard for it again. Tried to get it back to Heath, but couldn't do so. Now Para intercepts one. And she'll send one up the middle. That's going to go all the way through. And Dodge City's going to kick that one all the way back to their keeper. And the keeper kicks it into the concession stand. So that'll be a throw in for Northwest. 29 minutes to go in the first half. No score. Northwest and Dodge City. On the far side. Northwest intercepts it. Kalen Heath with it at midfield. Sends it back to Schilling. Schilling will send it over here to Anaveros. And Anaveros intended that one for Sawyer Ross, but the wind got it. Now Schilling intercepts a pass, sends it back to Savannah Randall right in front of us. Sawyer Ross sends it over to Raylan Grant. 
And Grant trying to get it forward for Porter, couldn't do so. Grizzlies trying to get it back. That's on Averos. Nice job to Lillian Schilling. Up the middle, intercepted by Dodge. That's Naomi Parra with it, no relation. Grant fighting for it and wins it. She left it for Ross. Ross couldn't get to it in time. And here comes Dodge City back. That's Ruiz taking a shot. And an easy save for Hernandez, her first official save of the day. Comes up the middle to Ferrari, uh, Marari Flores. Flores, one on four. Still with it. And that one goes out of play and it will stay with Northwest. Dodge City has a couple of shivering players ready to come in. It's cold, folks. Titan Classic is known for bad weather. And there's a goal kick coming. And on that goal kick, let's take 10. You're watching NWHS Grizz. This is Grizzly Soccer. Grizzly Soccer on YouTube is sponsored in part by Wichita Academy in Goddard. Thank you, Kyle Eno and your staff for your support. Awaiting the goal kick. And Dodge City made a substitution, the reason for the delay there. Clock running, 26 to go, first half, no score. Ball out here to center, and Sawyer Ross giving chase. And this one comes back to Kalen Heath. Heath sends a blast up the middle that's intercepted. Here comes Dodge back with it. That's Garcia sending a long one forward that Ingrid Para intercepts. And Ingrid sends one up. Kalen Mueller, Mueller on the far side, sends it up, and nobody there but red shirts. Grizzlies with it. Porter sends one across to Mueller. Kalen Mueller. Centering one, and De La Rosa's there to intercept it for Dodge City. It'll keep the scoreboard right where it is at zeros. De La Rosa throws it. It's caught or intercepted by Raylan Grant. And they're going to call a foul on Dodge City. It'll be a free kick for Northwest. Kalen Heath hits a long bomb, and De La Rosa's there to make the save. Back out to center it comes. Heath again. Ball bouncing around like a pinball. There's one lifted over everybody, but Hernandez will be there to get it for Northwest. Emily Bravo getting set to come back in. She will be joined by two others. She will be joined by Aliciana Rodriguez, number 18, 
and by Helene Kelting, number 23. And on that note, let's welcome aboard the good folks back in Germany, in Hamburg. Her parents, Anna and Boris Kelting, are watching on the World Wide Web tonight, and I understand there's another little watch party going with her club team back there, uh, TSC uh, Wellings Butel. We welcome all of you to our broadcast and hope you're enjoying the game. It's very late back there. It's approaching midnight back there. This one's going to come right to me. And yours truly made a great save. But we welcome all of you and hope you enjoy the game. That one right in front of Kelting, and she's called for a foul. Dodd City will have a throw in. Oh, they're gonna, I'm sorry, uh, rather a free kick, and Ruiz will take it. She tees it up a little bit on this wet turf. Approaching 22 to go, first half. In the air, and Kelting blocks that one. That one comes out, and Dodge City gets it. And they've got some numbers, and... going to call another foul on Kelting. Ruiz will have another one. Another free kick, that is. And they're going to move the line back off, sure. He moved it back. Gave him the 10 yards. Ruiz will have the free kick. This could be dangerous. It is into the wind, and it's rejected there out of bounds by Marari Flores. It'll be a throw-in for Dodge. Northwest with it. Porter trying to keep it in bounds. It goes out of play. Turn it over to Dodge. Kelting knocks it out of play. We'll do it all over again. Dodge throws it in. Ground's a little slippery because of all the rain we had last night. We had over an inch of rain here overnight, and the field is ground, and it did drain well, but it's still a little slick. And the forecast for here tonight, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, is snow here in Wichita. That one's going to go out and be a goal kick for... Northwest. Let's take 10. We'll be back. This is Grizzly Sox. This portion of tonight's contest is brought to you by the family of Todd and Stacy Vestering, proud supporters of Grizzly Soccer. Goal kick coming. Grizzlies trying to get it out of their own end. It's been down there a while, and they're having a hard time getting it out. Throw in coming for Northwest. Kalen Mueller with it for the Grizzlies. Brings it up the far side, has it picked off her foot, goes out of play. We'll do it all over again. The throw in for Northwest. We're, uh, I will tell you that when we get to halftime, uh, we'll have we'll have a halftime commercial break from our sponsors. There will be no halftime show. We're just going to let you look at the field while uh, our executive producer Ashley Isbell and I both find some place to warm up for five minutes. 
my hands are about to fall off and I have gloves on. She has no gloves. I don't know how she's doing it. Oh, she does have gloves. Ah, somebody brought her gloves. Throw in for no, uh, for Dodge City now on the far side. 18 to go. First half, no score. Loose in front, picked off by Hernandez. Real and Grant getting set to come back in for Northwest. Next outage. Porter. Back to Heath. And Heath sends one up. Bohannon also coming back in. There's a chance in front for Dodge City, and they couldn't get the shot away. And finally, the defense clears it out for Northwest, and we're spending way too much time in our own end. Rodriguez sends one forward. Porter can't control it, and Dodge has it back again. Ruiz in front, one man to beat. And it's chipped over the goal line by Lillian Schilling. It'll be a corner kick for Dodge City. This will be their first, and they'll take it into the wind. From the near corner. Ball is in the air in front. Loose shot and a save by Hernandez. Wow. The shot on the volley and Hernandez was there. And it stays scoreless. There's another shot. Hernandez makes the save. She'll have a goalkeeper distribution as she maintains control and she punts it out herself. That one goes out of play and subbing in now for Northwest are Raylan Grant and uh, Brooklyn Bohannon. Dodge City's also going to sub in too. They're going to sub in uh, Kathia Ramirez and Janet Morales De La Rosa at their next opportunity. They got to the line too late. Helene throws it in, now back to her. She'll send it to Schilling. Schilling to Heath. Heath couldn't get to it, Para's there. Ingrid now sends it to Heath, who's left all alone. Now back to Para, who's left all alone. Pretty good play by the defense. Raylan Grant on the far side. Schilling over here on the near side for Rodriguez who chips it out of play and that'll be a throw in for Dodge City and now those other two players I just mentioned, De La Rosa and Ramirez will both sub in for the Demons. Schilling intercepts it. Raylan Grant sends it back to Kelting. And up on the far side of the field now to Bohannon. Bohannon couldn't uh, control it. It goes right back to Dodge City. Susanna Onaveros lined up here to come back in at the next sub opportunity. And this one's going to go out of play and belong to Dodge City. Quick throw in comes in. Yeah. 
God sends it across. They've got some numbers, do the demons. Bohannon. Now Dodge City has it again. Here's a chance, and Ruiz puts one into the next county. That'll be a goal kick. Let's take 10. We'll be back. This is Grizzly Soccer. The Ultimate Sports Academy at 9020 West Harry is proud to sponsor Grizzly Soccer on the Internet. Anaveros went in. Kelting came out. Awaiting the goal kick. It'll be Heath taking it. She leaves it short for Schilling. Schilling was back there all alone. She'll dribble for a while. Now she'll send it out to Anaveros. Susanna to Rodriguez. Rodriguez tried to get it to Bravo, but it bounced off her foot. Intercepted there by Anaveros. She gets it to Bravo. Back to Anaveros again. Now up to Rodriguez again. Loose on the floor. Who's going to get it? Susanna's got it. Sends it back to Schilling. Schilling over to Heath. Heath sends it wide to Para. Back to Heath. And back to Schilling. Kaylin Mueller fighting with it over there and gets it back to Para. Para sends one forward. Bohannon went had to go through her wickets. She gives chase there, trying to get it back, putting on some pressure. Raylan Grant fighting for it now. And she sends it up to Mueller. Mueller looking for an opening, and there is one, but she's offside, I think. Nope, they say she's on. Rodriguez in the corner. Sends it back to Anaveros. Susanna. Now, if that was, I don't understand that play at all. They did call it. Susanna was uh, tripped. And for a minute, I, I didn't hear the whistle. For a minute, I thought they weren't going to call a foul, but they did. It's going to be a free kick for Northwest. Kaylin Heath will come up and take it. And they're actually going to move the line back. All righty. Kaylin Heath set for the free kick. She sends it wide. There's a shot over everything, and it will be a goal kick for Dodge City. Let's take 10. We'll be back. This is Grizzly Soccer. Thanks to Tommy Express Car Wash, 1340 North Tyler Road in front of Northwest for their support of Grizzly Soccer. Awaiting the goal kick from De La Rosa. Up the near side it comes. Dodge City brings it down very quickly. Raylan Grant in there providing pressure. Emily Bravo helping. Kaylin Heath gets it wide for Susanna. And she sends it up here for Rodriguez. Rodriguez out to center. Kaylin Mueller with it for Northwest. Mueller back to Anavero. Susanna's got it. Gets it to Bravo. Bravo back to Mueller. And back to Anavero again. Good ball handling by Northwest. Schilling will give it to Kaylin Heath. That one went through everybody, and it's going to go all the way back to De La Rosa. She'll have a goalkeeper distribution for Dodge City. Back to Hernandez.
Dot City got something on the move here. They got some numbers. This one's going to go right to Hernandez. And she'll have a goalkeeper distribution. We have a throw in coming for Northwest. And Savannah Randall will re-enter the game now, number 12. And she will replace Marari Flores. Flores comes off. And there's a foul. I hope that's outside the box. A yellow card has been given. On the play, that will stop the clock. Well, they didn't stop it. Now they stop it at 7.01. Both coaches informed as to the nature of the infraction. I don't know who the number was. The uh, We'll see if we can get that from the official score here to my left. Dodge City trying to get something going. Oh, there's a chance for Ruiz. Ruiz takes the shot and cleared off the goal line by Ingrid Parra. Now Marari Flores has a chance. Takes a shot. Score. Marari Flores gets the ball down, puts it in the hole, and the Grizzlies draw first blood. It's one to nothing. Fourteen scored it. So the Grizzlies get on the board first, and that's important. Anaveros to Schilling. And what made that lead possible? <laughs> Pardon me. What made that lead possible, quite honestly, is a couple of great saves by Liliana Hernandez at the other end to keep the goose egg on the board. Anaveros over here to Randall. Randall sends one up. Rodriguez can't get to it. And back it comes, and here's a chance for Dodge. That's Ramirez with it. She still got it. Now she sends one wide. And coming to get it is uh, Frausto. And a weak shot is easily picked off by Hernandez. She'll have a goalkeeper distribution as we approve, approach excuse me, five minutes remaining here in the first half. Raylan Grant couldn't get it out. There's a shot and a save by Hernandez, and she'll run after it and pick it up. And she'll have a goalkeeper distribution. Hernandez. 
Hernandez keeps it low and gets it to Grant. Wind blowing harder now than it was at the beginning of the game. Bravo. Now Anaveros with it for Northwest, and she'll send it back to Hernandez. Hernandez will probably send it over to Kaelin Heath. Amelia Herrera getting set to come in for Dodge City at the next chance. There's a throw in coming for Northwest. Trying to get it over here to Randall, and she couldn't get to it. Dodge comes away with it. Ruiz sending it up forward, one on four. Ingrid Parag on the far side giving chase. And Ingrid knocks it out of play. It'll be a throw in for Dodge, and now Herrera will come in for the Demons. Less than three minutes to go here as we approach the end of the first half. Grizzlies with a one nothing lead. Okay? Hernandez. Takes it away and punts it out towards center. The first head on it belongs to Dodge City. <coughs> Ferrari, uh, Ferrari, uh, Marari Flores came in, shot it forward. It was intercepted. This one's going to be intercepted right back by Para. Up to Bohannon. Bohannon, far side. And it'll be a throw in for Dodge City. Ninety seconds to go in the first half. Anavero sends one forward. Randall giving chase, putting some pressure on. Now Dodge does get it back in. They send one in. And that one's going to go out of play. That'll belong to Northwest. And there's one minute remaining in the first half. Throw in comes in for Randall, and she knocks it out of play. Turn it over to Dodge City. Dodge throws it in. Schilling gets a chest on it, and that one is blasted onto I-235. That'll be a goal kick for Northwest if they get it off with only 15 seconds to go in the half. They may not even, they probably won't even get this kick off. And that's the halftime buzzer. We are at half. And after one half of play, it's Northwest 1 and Dodge City 0. We're going to take a two-minute commercial timeout. And then you're going to have some silent Sunday here until the start of the second half. So stay with us. You're watching. NWHS Grizz, this is Grizzly Soccer. Interest Bank is a major sponsor of the Northwest Soccer Program through the Eric Profit Scholarship Tournament. At Interest Bank, we place our values at the center of everything we do. It's a philosophy we have followed for more than 140 years. 
This principled approach to business is encapsulated into three words, tradition for today. This principle makes us different from the rest. Check out Intrust Bank today at IntrustBank.com. Hi friends, Bill Nightingale, General Manager of Mel Hamilton Ford. Are you looking for a used car, truck, or SUV with the largest selection in the state? You're sure to find the vehicle you're searching for at Mel Hamilton Ford. At the big corner, customers are number one. So every used vehicle is checked out in our shop by a certified technician before it goes out on the lot for sale. Shop Mel Hamilton Ford first, a dealer you can trust. Visit us out on West Kellogg today or shop us online at mhford.com. Mel Hamilton Ford, experience the difference. Grizzly Soccer Online is supported by Todd Eflin Narrates. I'm the voice you hear on our sponsor announcements. My wife is an alum of Northwest, and this is my sixth season as your announcer. I was a longtime radio personality in Wichita, and now do full-time voice acting. You can use my voice for your business, like product or training videos, telephone systems, radio or TV spots, and audiobooks. Learn more online at toddefflin.com. That's T-O-D-D-E-F-L-I-N.com.
And welcome back, folks. It is getting set for the start of the second half. Grizzlies lead one to nothing at halftime. Pretty good first half by the Grizzlies. Don't mind your picture. That's uh, Miss Isbell working on the Fine, Kevin, except it's the wrong time. There we go. Grizzlies will play from right to left here in the second half, and it'll be Dodge City kicking off to start play. As we await the start of the second half here. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you're enjoying the game wherever you are. The give you a weather update. The temperature is now 42 degrees gone down four degrees since kickoff predicted to be 40 degrees at the end of the game and with this biting wind and it's a cold raw wind it's just plain cold folks okay we're trying to do everything we can to keep ourselves warm here Okay, Susanna sends it to Lillian Schilling. Kaylin Mueller right in front of us is wide open. Kaylin Heath sends it up in the direction of Bo Hannon. Bo Hannon sends it to Bravo at center. And here's a chance for Bo Hannon if she can get to it. And De La Rosa will distribute it for Dodge City and a good opportunity for Northwest here early on in the second half. Kaylin Heath sends one up, past Bo Hannon, deep. Bo Hannon putting on the Jets. Boy, she's got some speed. That one is going to go over the goal line, and that should be a corner kick, I believe, for Northwest. Marari Flores headed over to take it. <laughs> I noticed that. It is... Uh, flurrying here and misting now and our camera is the lens is getting wet we're not raining hard enough that we have to terminate the broadcast early uh, for those of you who have not watched us before uh, we do not do this in the rain when we're outside so should it start to rain and it is supposed to snow tonight but it should it start to rain to where it's noticeable and we've actually got real drops we will terminate the broadcast early. Throw in for Northwest. Dodge City has it, works it forward, and Kalen Heath breaks up the play. Raylan Grant with it now. Nice job by Raylan. She got it up to... Got it up to the forwards and got it intercepted. Lillian Schilling hustling over to get that ball and send it up. Have a throw in coming for the Grizzlies.
Back line for Northwest has been adamant here in this game. Throw in for Hor the Grizzlies coming. You going to blow a fuse on us? And it is misting. My glasses are getting covered now. I can feel it. No wonder I'm cold. We're all getting wet. Ball's headed out of play and does indeed come out of play right to our bench. Ingrid Parra will throw it in for Northwest. That one goes out. Ingrid will do it again right in front of us. Dodge sends one forward. And out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Demons. Is that camera getting wet? Is that camera getting wet? There is a towel in the case. Kalen Mueller can't get to it. De La Rosa has it, and we'll have a goalkeeper distribution for the Demons. We're trying to protect our equipment here so we can stay on the air as the uh, precipitation is beginning to increase. Raylan Grant to Mueller. Mueller. As her pass intercepted by Ruiz, here she comes with it. Down the middle. And there's a shot and a save by Hernandez. Hernandez all over it. That one goes into the Dodge City dugout. Well, the wind is not helping you up there. I know that. That's not a uh, camera designed to get wet. That's my concern. I'm trying to protect the camera, as I mentioned before. Here's Para back there defensively. And she's trying to let it roll over the goal line. And it does. It'll be a... That'll be a goal kick for Northwest. 32-30 to go in the second. Grizzlies lead goes out of play. That'll be a throw in for be a throw in for Dodge. I take it back. It's a throw in for Northwest. Now they change their mind again and give it to Dodge. I thought it was Dodge to start with, so they got the right call out of it. Raylan Grant giving chase again. Boy, she is. She has been all over the ball in these first two games. Parra back there for Northwest. Sends it up. Flores sends it wide. 
That's Mueller over there with it. She sends it to Bohannon. Bohannon, now if she can get a, get behind the defense here, we might have something going. Fighting for it, it goes out of play. It'll be a throw in for Northwest. Nice to see Northwest punch one more in. Get a little insurance going here. <laughs> Marisol Banuelos Aparicio getting set to come in for Dodge City. Warming up here on the sideline. And Sawyer Ross getting set to come back in for Northwest. Well, we have a throw in. Now let's get these subs in. Let's get the subs in. Let's get the subs in. Come on, turn around, ref. Now it's going to be a foul instead of a... Uh, throw in. That's why they didn't do any subbing. Raylan Grant with it. Mueller. Oh. Bo Hannon couldn't get the couldn't get the foot on it. And it goes back to De La Rosa. Good opportunity for Northwest. Comes with no fruition. Here's Raylan Grant again. Over on the near side, Mueller can't keep it in. It'll turn over to Dodge City. And now we'll have those two subs that I mentioned before. 29 minutes to go, second half. Grizzlies lead, 1-0. Ingrid Para. And it'll be a throw in for Northwest. And we'll have another throw in for Northwest. Dodge City with it. There's a shot, and it goes wide through the goal mouth. It'll be a goal kick and a break for Northwest. Let's uh, let's take 10. We'll be back. This is Grizzly Soccer. Northwest Soccer Online is sponsored by Todd Eflin Narrates. That's me, proud to announce the sponsors during each game. Let's go, Grizzlies. Getting set for the goal kick. Again, the Grizzlies leading. One to nothing. 27 minutes to go in the second half. That one's chipped out by Schilling, but Dodge City is there to cover it. Bo Hannon. Oh, she got around him. Can she get around the other one? And she cannot, but Kaylin Mueller is there to chip one forward. And De La Rosa will pick it off. It's a shame because, uh, actually, I'm going to take that back because Kaylin Mueller was wide open over here.
It's a shame they couldn't find her. I think that was Randall over there. I'm having a hard time seeing myself because my glasses are wet. Para has the ball taken off her foot. Now the Demons have some numbers working. Kale and Mueller does a nice job to come back and play defense. Throw in coming for the Demons. Out to center it goes. Here's a chance for Northwest. Breakaway for Flores, shot, score! Marari Flores gets another one. A breakaway goal for Marari Flores. With 25 and change remaining here in the second half and the Grizzlies go up by two. That's a big goal. Actually, that's a huge goal. Dodge City with it. They send it forward, intercepted. Kaylin Heath. And she sends it up. Kaylin Mueller could not get to it. I cannot say enough good things about our back line. They are solid. All five of them. And it'll be Hernandez. She'll wait and then pick it up. She picks it up. And she'll have a goalkeeper distribution. Addison Porter getting set to come back in for Northwest as she shivers here on the sideline. Loose in front. Here's a, here's a chance for Dodge. Shot and a save by Hernandez. Wow. Hernandez keeps it 2 nothing. Sawyer Ross with it now at midfield. Sends one up here for Mueller, and Mueller's got a breakaway. Down the near side. Sends it across for Bohannon. Too far. Randall takes a shot. It goes over for a goal kick for Dodge City. Let's go ahead and take 10. We'll be back. This is Grizzly Soccer. Thanks to David and Jana Terhune for their sponsorship of Grizzly Soccer on YouTube again this year. De La Rosa getting set for the goal kick for Dodge City. Clock running, 22-30 remaining, second half. That one goes back to Della Rosa again off the foot of Para. Grizzlies are going to sub in uh, Emily Bravo and Alisiana Rodriguez. Dodge with it. Now Raylan Grant intercepts that one. Dodge maintains control. And sends it over here to the near side. Trying to find a way to penetrate the back line of Northwest. Schilling over there. And there's another shot. That's going to go wide. And it's cleared out to center. Sawyer Ross chips it forward. 
Grant with it, back to Ross. Ross still with it to Porter, and now they're going to call a foul on Dodge City. It'll be a free kick for Northwest. Going to check with our executive producer. Are you okay up there? Besides that. I, I need some windshield wipers. Because I'm, I'm all, my glasses too are all missed it over. It is raining here at South High. Temperature down to 41. Addison Porter, nice job to save that one. Para wins that one. Out to center. Comes up here to Mueller. Back to Grant. Grant, oh, Grant had it taken off of her foot. Here's a chance for Dodge. Long shot, and Hernandez is right there to make the save. The winner of this game will play at 6 o'clock on Wednesday, and they'll play next door at Carpenter Stadium. The loser will play here at 4 o'clock on Wednesday. Here's a chance for Addison Porter. Porter can't get to it. Now she does. Good job of screening. Taps it out of play, and it will stay with Northwest, and there will be some substitutions. I mentioned to you that Rodriguez and Bravo are both coming back in now. For Northwest. Savannah Randall comes out. Throw in comes in from Para down to Flores. Flores with both goals in this game. In fact, Flores has all three of the Northwest goals so far in this young season. This one goes out of play. It'll be a corner kick. For Northwest, Elena Kelting getting set to come back in now for Northwest. Loose in front, shot saved by De La Rosa. Not saved by the Dodge City goalkeeper. And here come the demons down the floor. Grizzlies playing playing off now. Sawyer Ross comes in, takes it away. Bravo gets a foot on it. This one gets by Heath, but Lillian Schilling is there. Can't get it out, though. Kind of hard to put one up in this stiff breeze. There's another shot, bounces off a of Schilling. Anaveros on the far side. They still can't get it out. There's another shot. That one is blocked by Bravo. Another shot blocked by the defense. Here's one for Addison Porter to bring up. Dodge City comes away with it, sends it back, and this one will go all the way back to Hernandez. Loviana will send it wide to Ontiveros on the far side. Susanna sends one up. It's intercepted by Dodge City. Grizzlies need to get the ball down to the other end of the field and keep it there a while. That one loose in front goes across the bow over the goal line. That'll be a goal kick for Northwest. Back in 10 seconds, this is Grizzly Soccer. Grizzly Soccer on YouTube is sponsored in part by Tony Tahali. We thank Tony for his support of Grizzly Soccer. Losing battle. I hate to cut the broadcast off.
Just let it go for a while. Todd City with it, intercepted at midfield. Ross couldn't clear it. Addison Porter tried to center one. She gets it right back, and that's knocked out. That'll be a, nor a Northwest throw in. Ingrid Parra will do it right in front of us. Ingrid Parra and Kaylin Heath, there's a foul. That'll be a free kick for Northwest. Kaylin Heath will do this. Dodge City's getting it right back. We're giving Dodge City too many opportunities here, and that's going to come back and bite us. The uh, wind does favor the Demons here at the moment. Now what are we calling? They're going to call a foul here on Dodge City. Shot and a save by Hernandez. Wow. Beautiful save. She punts it out here to center. Come on, girls. Get it down to the other end. You can't spend the entire game playing in front of your own goalkeeper. Grizzly's just unable to move it downfield. Now they're getting somewhere. Dodge City wins it right back. And they bring it back down again. And there's a foul, and that'll be a free kick for Dodge City. Approaching 13 to go in the second. Grizzlies lead 2-0. There's a long one. And it goes wide for a goal kick. We'll keep it right here. We're going to make the rest of this game commercial free because, quite frankly, my hands are so cold I can't operate the equipment. Uh, Raylan Grant comes back in for Northwest, replacing uh, Sawyer Ross. Did a good job when she was in there. This one goes wide. Kelting has it, sends it forward. Give and go back to Helena. Oh, she lost it. And that one gets shipped out. It'll belong to Dodge City for a throw-in. And again, all these throw-ins for Dodge City are not good. Maybe if I point in the direction we should be moving the ball, that will help. I don't know. This one goes all the way back to Della Rosa. And she sends it out here to center. Ingrid Para wins it. Unfortunately, the chip is going to go out of play, and it will belong to Dodge City. Raylan Grant working hard. And finally, they're going to call the foul, and it's going to be a free kick for Northwest. Here's a chance for a porter, which couldn't get there, and Della Rosa will get it instead for 
dodge. Dodge gets it back across midfield. There's a long one and cleared away for the moment, but right to another player. Ruiz now, top of the key. There's a shot and a save by Hernandez, and I don't care what you say. She's the defensive player of this game. Punt is against the wind and short. Morari Flores on the far side. Wouldn't mind it if Morari banged, banged one in for a hat trick today. Here's a chance for Kaylin Mueller. Couldn't get to it. De La Rosa wraps it up and sends it back out to center. Here comes Dodge City right back now. Grizzlies need to get the ball and keep it down there a while. They did that in the first half. They have not done that near so much here in the second. Approaching 10 minutes remaining, Grizzlies lead 2-0. That one gets chipped out of bounds. No, it stayed in, excuse me. Out here to center. Madison Porter is wide open. Dodge does a good job to get back, though. Back out here to center. Ingrid Parra with it. Ingrid sends it wide. Flores weaving through traffic. Gets it up to Addison Porter. Oh, too far for her. It goes out of play. And it will be a throw-in for Dodge City. Susanna Anaveros comes in, replacing Ingrid Parra. So our back line now is Anaveros on the near side, Kaylin Heath, Lillian Schilling, and Helena Kelting. Anaveros blocks that one. Goes out of play, that's our ball. Savannah Randall set to come in here in a moment. Get her Jets going. Heath can't get to the ball, there, uh, Dodge has it. And here they come. Over here on the near side. That one blocked, good job. Addison Porter comes back in to help. Raylan Grant can't get to that one. And the Demons have the numbers now. There's a shot and a save by Hernandez. Hernandez working real hard on getting a clean sheet here in the first game of the Titans. Elena Kelting back there. And I don't know what they called. I think they called the goal kick. Savannah Randall will come in for Addison Porter. Dodge City subs in uh, Kathia Ramirez. And by the time we get this kickoff, there'll be seven minutes remaining in the second half. Clock looking better and better for Northwest. That one goes into the coach's arms for Dodge City. Susanna Anaveros will do the duty for 
Northwest. She throws it in in that one. Headed loose, Morari Flores lost the ball. Savannah Randall hustling up there to give chase, and De La Rosa clears it. That one goes wide to the far side. Derby uh, Dodge, excuse me, still has it. They've turned on the lights here at uh, South High. Need to turn off the sprinkler systems, what they need to do. Grant. Rodriguez can't get it forward. Blocked by Dodge City, and now Dodge working it again. Rodriguez still fighting for it, however. That one goes all the way back. Kaylin Heath giving chase. She may let it run over the goal line. And we have a foul call. That'll be a free kick for Northwest. This is going to be the shortest sign-off in history when we get done with this one. I think the horn will still be sounding as we say goodnight. Five minutes to go, second. Grizzlies lead 2 nothing, And they're about to get a free kick here. Into the wind and into the rain. And that one comes all the way up here to midfield and out of play. It'll be a throw in for Dodge. And Dodge makes a substitution. They'll bring on uh, Ashley Alonso again. Emily Bravo putting on the pressure. Raylan Grant there as well now. Bravo blocks the sh uh, pass forward. Rodriguez since, oh man, if had it gone through, we had a breakaway. Up the near side, Savannah Randall giving chase. Savannah give, chases it all the way back to De La Rosa. De La Rosa cannot pick this up, and she does manage to get it back out here. Three and a half to go in the second. Raylan Grant sends one forward. This is where I want the ball to be, is at this end of the field. Get it back up there. There you go. Kaylin Heath sends it forward. Here's a chance for the Grizzlies. Flores, can she do it? Nice stop there by De La Rosa. Kaylin Heath intercepts that pass, brings it forward. Anaveros sends it up. Ball sent over here on the near side and lands right next to us. Anaveros will come up and handle the throw in. And that one <laughs> literally bounced off the uh, staircase directly behind my head. Fortunately, it didn't hit any equipment. That one gets kicked out of play. A quick throw in for Dodge now. Raylan Grant pops one in the air. And the ball bounding around in the air now. Settled back on the ground. Here comes Dodge City trying to work something forward again. Anaveros intercepts it. It goes out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Demons. Quick throw in comes. Kaylin Heath got a piece of it. Two minutes to go. Far side, Kelting. Trying to send one forward. Still fighting for it. Raylan Grant. And Savannah Randall chips one up to the far side in the direction of Flores, but she couldn't get it. It goes all the way back now to De La Rosa. 
90 seconds remaining in the game. This one goes all the way back to Hernandez. She has it. Up the far side it goes. Less than a minute. There's a shot and it goes wide. That'll be a goal kick for Northwest. And they can take their time chasing that ball down. Clock continues to run with 40 to go. Grizzlies are going to win this one, folks, and they're going to play Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. They will play on the turf field next door at Carpenter Stadium, and they will play the winner of the Derby and Bishop Carroll game, which is scheduled to be played immediately after this, and I am assuming they're still going to play it. I don't know. Counting it down now as we approach 10 seconds to go. And that's it. We're final. Final score from South High, Northwest 2 and Dodge City 0. We're going to sign it off and get the stuff out of the rain. We'll see you good folks Wednesday night from Carpenter Stadium against Derby or Bishop Carroll. For Ashley Isbell, I'm Kevin Arkin saying good night from South High.